progress! <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Nice casual day here at the burn yard. If I make this, I get to keep Hank. <laughs> you don't want those problems. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back here at the burn yard. Hank's chopping. We got her, we got Chris, and we also got a postal truck. What's up, man? Hey. And that looks like a postal jeep. It is. Hell yeah. What's up, man? Introduce yourself to the people. What's your name? I'm Jared McCollis. How you doing? Good. How you doing? What's up, Jared? Yeah, there it is. Yo, are these OEM buckets? No, they're out of a buggy. I got. They're from the '90s or something like that. Maybe '80s. I'm very in. fitting. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here, here. You, you work this. Guy. Hey guys, I'm holding the camera now. <laughs> so tell us what we got here. Let's start from so, the top. This is a 1968 Jeep. DJ5. Most people haven't heard of them because they all got crushed. It's a government vehicle. They don't care about it. Oh. I have a picture somewhere on my phone that there's thousands of them on top of each other. Hey! Oh, hey, Doc. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. But Don this one's definitely not. Not stock. crushed. Oh, not stock. <laughs> not stock. So not stock, nor is it crushed. All right, well, let's see why it's not stock. Yeah. Show uh, it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's start with actually suspension. All right, let's go ahead and start with the suspension. It's definitely wider, and that's not wheel spacers. What'd you do? I swapped the entire front end out of a Grand Cherokee into it. So I have disc brakes, all that modern stuff of it, but... Still. Just to make it... Do you drive this, on, leaf, though. You yeah, drive this on the street? Oh yeah, I drive the crap out of it. Okay, so you did it to make it more modern. Yeah, more safe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the drums are so scary. And once I put power I did in it, I had to do the discs. Yeah. So I've seen this vehicle that came to a Burnyard bash one time. I don't know how to put into words what the suspension does on this thing. Uh, it's almost like it doesn't have suspension. It's like can, can, monster truck yeah, suspension can, kind of scaled down. <laughs> <laughs> it's got real good flex. <laughs> so you put Wrangler, what year Wrangler? Sorry. It's actually a 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee two-wheel drive front end under. Okay, okay. Keep those leaves out. Keep Stock leaves. leaves. Stock leaves. They're the originals. Stock leaves. Stock leaves. So is it easy swap? Uh, well, the, the newer Jeep front end had all control arms and all that crap on it, so I cut them off and converted to leaf. Oh. But my main, main problem with that now is I have a 5x5.5 five five lug pattern in the rear and a 5x4.5 five lug pattern in the front. So you can't match your wheels for nothing, huh? Yeah, they look matched. Yeah, but I got those front ones out of a junkyard off of a Grand Marquis. That's close. Well, man, man, this is such an interesting little vehicle. It's Definitely so little. sketchy. Yeah. My drive shaft's measurements from center of U joint to center of U joint is nine and seven sixteenths. Uh, drive shaft's that long. Wow. Oh, nine inches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, okay. this vehicle isn't nine feet. So. <laughs> uh, the wheelbase is 81 inches from center to center of the axles. It's pretty small. Other than that, it's mostly stock. <laughs> did you, now, did we already get into the engine? No. Not yet. No. He, he wanted to beat around the bush first. Yeah. yeah. Pop the hood, man. All right. I'll pop Come on. Yo, yo, check good. this sick ass Wait. sound system out. Look at that. Oh, what? What has <laughs> got a ninja radio. So, yeah. like, you got some homemade enclosures? <laughs> and actually, the funny thing is, is I did not make those. If you see the blue paint on them. Oh, that's government spec. Um, what is this little water reservoir? It's to assist my blowing out diff. Oh, <laughs> he's got water sprayers for yeah. birdies. All right, I respect because that. this is the original Dana 44 narrow track. It does have factory pods. So but, it just needs a little help to loosen. But it'll just do one. I'm just like, no. <laughs> so, so you just help it out so a little yeah, bit. I, I, that was a last minute Amazon order like three days ago. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good Burnyard modification. Yeah. yeah, but hey, since the coolant's there. Yeah. You're just going to use that instead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's pop the hood. Let's, right, let's get so into the business. The drivetrain is out of a... I like that it has Bigfoot tires on it. <laughs> uh, the whole drivetrain is out of a 96 Grand Cherokee as well. 318 small block Mopar. Okay. It's a mess because I use the stock harness. Ah, yeah. I, you know, I honestly didn't expect this to be in there. I just <laughs> I just assumed it was LS. I just assumed everything is LS, I guess. It's the poor Mopar man's LS. Yeah. Because I got this whole drivetrain ECU Meyer harness for free. Wow. wow. Yeah, what kind of power is that, that man? Chrysler says it's around 230, 240 yeah. back in 96. And, so. and what does this thing weigh, you think? Uh, I actually did weigh it with me out of it with a half tank of fuel. It's 2960. That's wow. surprisingly that heavy. Is, you like my? Uh, you think that's heavy? Yeah. 20, yeah. I, it's I, as heavy as an S13. I, it's a cool damn tank. Jeep. I assume this would be smaller it. than that. This looks pretty small. Like big old. But I guess I mean yeah. I guess it's. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look this, at that. This thing's a tank. Oh wait. This uh, 
this, this cool this temp is the, sensor. This is a sending unit. Not yet. Well, this, that, that was from the motor I had in it previously, and I, there was no outputs on this motor so, for it. So, so now you just get to read the atmospheric temperature. Yeah, 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 it's my engine bay temp. Now what you do is you just jam it through the fort. The yeah, you just <laughs> stick it through some fans. Yeah, and on top of that, I have a tiny radiator, so, you know. That is an abnormally small radiator. That's a stock the, one for an inline six. It's, uh, it's, it's, my AC compressor, you like it? <laughs> <laughs> so you literally just took the motor out, it's, dropped it It's an it idler in. pulley. Was it hard to put this in here? Not really. Uh, I did it in a week. I drove it into my garage on a Saturday. Following Saturday, I drove it out with the V8. Wow. And, and previously, it actually had a Toyota 4-banger in it, huh. which so, was not original either. Nice. Yeah, I've never seen a cap with... That's so helpful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So you don't take it off and get blasted in the face with steaming coolant. Oh, you brought out all the flex mods. Did you do these headlights today, too? Uh, Did they just change colors? Yeah, they oh, changed man. colors. Oh. It's a disco party. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you gonna party with this thing or what? Is it time? Is it time? Best I can. That's not the kind of answer. Don't let down, don't let down your Jeep on, people. On, honestly, it's up to the diff. You gotta do it for the Jeep people, yeah. okay? I'll do it for the Jeep people. Yeah. You gotta make us not understand. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, let's send it. Fire this thing up. Oh yeah, okay, we gotta hear. Yeah, we gotta hear it first. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a little rusty. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> yeah, hurt. What are you doing? Raising kids. Yeah, just Being baby, just babies. You know. Oh yeah, proper. Sounds like it's ready for the demolition derby. <laughs> <laughs> What's the mail chop rating on that? <laughs> oh my god the brakes that's so funny
hoping you'd hit it. Yeah, a little toasty. <laughs> oh my God. This thing is hysterical. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Honestly, my favorite part about this thing is I know, right? I thought you were about to do like a like a, a like a stoppy, yeah. yeah stoppy, I mean, yeah. Oh yeah. Yo, that was sick, <laughs> man. That's a wrap. Well, we should have brought the merch man out here to battle him. Ooh. I wouldn't yeah. that thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, I wanted to blow him up.